Hello, hello, welcome back to another video on the channel where healing and spiritual growth are front and center. This video shout out goes to all of our fellow Quarren over there on Quora. Thank you for your continued support. I want to dive into this reminder for whoever needs it. Okay, because remember, spiritual battle for the mind. The enemy is always going to be trying to do something, right? Mm-hmm, to distract us, to get us off of God's path. We don't let him. I remember in Psalm 91, what did God tell him? That's right, okay? In 91, verse 5 and 6. I want to cover those real quick, all right? All right, thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day. The, the arrow, those fiery darts, that narcissistic abuse, and all of that other stuff nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. I want to go over that one more time. A little piece of that. Nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness. God revealed something to me not long ago, okay? He said, because I remember asking him, I was like, God, I was like, you know what? I said, in the darkness, okay, in the darkness, there tends to be a lot of noise. That noise and pestilence. Mmm. Remember how the narcissistic abusers always got to have some kind of noise in the background, right? They always got to have some kind of uh, mind-numbing whatever. And so this is what God's telling us about that. Is that we don't need to be afraid of it. Okay, remember he tells us, do not be afraid 365 times in the Bible for a reason. Okay, so we don't, don't need to be afraid. Okay, the terror by night, nor the, the arrow that flieth by day. In other words, no matter what, dear, throughout the day, remember. Because this is why Jesus says, you know, for the morrow will take care of itself. Okay, we have right here in the present, there's enough, okay, to deal with in one day. And so it's like, okay, because the enemy, but it, we become familiar with the enemy's shenanigans, right? Because it's the same stuff over and over and over again might fine-tune and tweak a little here and there and a variation of it, but he's always going to try something, right? Because he wants to try to get control of the thoughts. He wants to try to get us off of God's path, okay? And so we learn that we also don't need to be afraid of that pestilence, okay? That pestilence that walketh in darkness. And I said to myself, wow, that goes right in line with that revelation about how the in, inside the darkness, that narcissistic matrix bubble, okay, inside all of that, it's very, very noisy, very noisy, all that noise and pestilence. And so we realized that the narcissistic abusers, they really, they, they like that noise, okay, because it drowns out, what? That's right, their thoughts, because remember, they don't understand, they don't realize that, yeah, the demon spirits are up there controlling their thought, controlling their mind, controlling their behavior. They don't know the why. That's the why. Okay? Because they are demonically possessed biological beings. Right? They don't know that. Right? They believe that everything inside that matrix, okay, they believe that that's reality. But that's darkness. We're like, oh, and all that noise and pestilence. And we learn, we don't need to be afraid of the arrows. See, the enemy, listen, y'all, the enemy wants us to be afraid of him. No. We learn, we got to have the fear of God. What does that mean? Again, have, that, that fear of God is not literal. It's simply, listen, y'all, God is a simple God. It is simply walking and living by faith. That is the fear of God. Walking and living by faith trusting God, knowing that he's got it all worked out, knowing that he is out there making a way, knowing that he's working all things out in our favor. When we, when we do that inner work and we reflect and we realize that, you know, no matter how difficult or challenging a situation ever was or gets, we always make it through, don't we? That's right. Everything always works out. In the end, it always works out in our favor, right? There you go. That's how God works. 
Okay, that's why we know that no matter what the storm is, well, with God, all things are possible. And so we will get through that. You know, God's going to get us through that. Mm-hmm. That's right. We just got to keep having that faith and the hope and the love. All right? Remember, love triumphs all. All right? There you go. Never forget that very, very important lesson from God right there because we realize that. And what is love? That within, it's the God's, it's the God spirit. Okay, the perfect love casteth out all fear. So that was right in line with the fact that we don't need to fear those arrows thrown at us in the, throughout the day. We don't need to. And just to give you all some examples, okay? Listen, okay? That could be a spammer, a scammer, you know, trying to throw a, a dart, trying to deceive. Okay, it could be it could be that it could be, uh, and we get real familiar with that technique, right? Yeah, okay, and so, or, or it could be the enemy attacks somebody around us. The enemy, you know, tries to you know, remember the enemy going to try so many different ways to try and get to us, but we don't let him, right? Okay, and so it could be a narc that wants to dish out a verbal attack in the comments or what have you. We don't, we don't fear that. We block and delete. Yes, we keep the garbage out. Right? Remember, as we're unlearning a lot of that worldly garbage, we ourselves also monitor where our work in the ministry is and things like that to the best of our ability. So if I have not caught any, you know, uh, abusive comments yet, hang tight. I will get to them and we'll get rid of them. Okay? We will block, delete, and get rid of that. Right? Because we're not playing. We're not playing the game of narcissism anymore. Ha uh, uh no. See, no means no. Right? It's that simple. And so, it's not so much, not myself, it's to help y'all. Because a lot of y'all, if you're in the, in the beginning stages, you know, none, none of us need to tell, uh, see that. No. But for those of you who have yet to overcome some trauma triggers, especially, you, do, you don't need to see that. Alright? So, we're, we're looking out for you. Remember, God look out for us, and so then we're looking out for y'all, okay? Yeah, the best way we can. And never forget that God's protection is 24-7, okay? Yeah, remember he said, he sent his angel to watch over thee, okay? So you can, you know, you can rest in Jesus, okay? Rest in Christ every day, and then knowing that we do it all to keep standing upright in the Lord. And we put that spiritual armor of God on. And then we went, okay. And yeah, when the enemy ramps up his attacks, we fight back just a little bit harder in spirit. Absolutely. That's not how we turn negatives into positive. Okay? That's just another way we do it. So it's like, you know, if the enemy wants to throw those arrows by day, okay? You know, you, you can pretty much come to predict, okay? Seriously. Remember how the narcissistic abusers are extremely predictable? Okay, well, so is the enemy. Uh-huh. Yeah, he is extremely predictable. And so we know that, oh, okay, so yeah, all right, once God getting ready to level us up, he's going to dish out more of those arrows by day, okay? And we realize, ah, okay, and we know why. So we just got to remind ourselves. That's how we overcome. And we we no longer, no, we don't need to be afraid of any of that. Okay? Because, again, no weapon formed against these shall prosper. So we know that now, too. That, obviously, because we're still here. Right? And God is bringing his chosen one together. It's such a beautiful thing, too. It really, truly is. Glory be to God. Bringing his chosen ones together. That's right. All right? But we don't need to be afraid of the enemy shenanigan. I know it takes a while, y'all, to overcome baby stepping, okay? Let God do what God's got to do, right? But we do. We overcome it. And it doesn't get us out of character. It doesn't get it doesn't get under our skin anymore. It does not trigger us, right? Remember, after all, that's what the enemy's really just trying to do is to trigger us. And it's going to be the same stuff over and over again, right? And the same stuff that used to work in the past and then also, the same stuff that never did work in the first place. Alright, so we learned that now, too. Because it was like, oh, there was a, a little shenanigan he tried to pull that 
the ex psycho tried to pull. It didn't work that time. And so then we tried it again. I was like, okay, it's not going to work this time either. And it didn't. And so it's like we learned that about ourselves. We know the Godhead inside us, you know, with Jesus, the Holy Spirit, and God. We know, all right, that with, with them, okay, with God all things are possible. And it is the strength through Christ. That's where we get our strength and our spiritual strength. Okay, to strengthen the Holy Spirit with the Word of God. Okay, you are absolutely 100%. And so that's what we're doing. We feed the Holy Spirit. It gets stronger. So the stronger our spirit gets, yeah, the enemy's going to try. Okay? Yeah, but the stronger our spirit gets, the less we're like, oh, okay, he's doing it again. You know, I, <laughs> where we get to, you all serious, where we get to that point where it's like, oh, that again, okay. And then we just keep on keeping on, right? We don't give it a second thought. We're just like, you know, the enemy throwing a temper tantrum. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for whatever it is you have come in my way. And we keep going forward, right? Because the enemy's just trying to draw us back, right? Remember, he, that's another thing he likes to try to do. And he will always try to put us back to sleep. But chosen ones, once you get that, start getting that heightened awareness, it's not going to work. Okay? He knows that. The enemy knows that. But it doesn't mean he isn't going to try. Of course he's going to try. That's why we got the armor of God. Mm-hmm. All right? And then that's why we it, God reminders. That we remember, okay, you know, get fully healed. Okay? From the trauma. And that's all part of it right there is that we're no longer giving the enemy a second thought when he dishes out a fiery dart, the arrow by day, okay? We, mm, no, uh -uh, we don't give it a second thought. We see it for what it is, and we're like, oh, that again, okay. Keep on keeping on, right? Whatever it is God has us working on, it gets that simple. Oh, yeah, all right? That's why we say y'all got to hang in there, all right? Don't let the enemy d distract you. That's another thing. Those arrows, the fiery dart show... That, the enemy is just trying to distract us. And so, yeah. I mean, he'll cause, you know, like, chaos, drama, and things like that. Right before what? That's right. Our next breakthrough, our next level up. It's right around the corner. It's like I said in the previous video. Because that's what he does. Okay? Trying to sabotage. Yeah. Trying to sabotage it's not a coincidence that these narcissistic abusers do the same thing. Trying to sabotage. You know how they would always pick a fight right before a big event? An interview, uh, taking a test, uh, attending, uh, let's just say, some event or uh, insert here. Your, uh, net, uh, your fun, okay? <laughs> whatever, whatever it is that you... We're setting out to accomplish or to go to or to like maybe even take a training course or what have you. And you completed it and stuff. And yet, let's say you have a big test. What does a narc abuser do? I always want to start an argument right before any of that stuff. Why? Because trying to sabotage. Yes, trying to sabotage whatever that was. Yep, whatever it is that's good for you. Mm-hmm. That God had you doing. Right? Mm-hmm. That's right. And then let's not forget something very important as well. That there are some narcs that don't do that because they want to live vicariously through our successes. Keep that in mind as well. Okay? Remember, these narcs are double-minded. As God said, a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. And so they're double-minded. You have some of them that will do that. They want to live vicariously through our successes. And so that's the part of idolatry. Mm-hmm. And so we're like, mm, no, we see it for what it is. And we don't engage in it. You know what I'm saying? We don't entertain that. Remember, we are not to entertain their demon spirit. They figure out ways to do that themselves. All right? <laughs> that's what I'm saying. So let the dead bury the dead. They figure out ways to do that for themselves, to entertain their demon spirit. Yep, they do that. We don't need to we don't need to help them with that. 
There you go. That's, that's it in its simplicity. We do not need to help them entertain their demon spirit. They can take care of that just fine. <laughs> okay? All by themselves. And so we don't. We don't need to be afraid. Okay? No, no, no. We don't wrestle against flesh and blood, y'all. Right? We don't need to be afraid of those arrows. Mm-mm. No. So part of the healing process. You know, it's overcoming those triggers. Right? Because remember, that's a lot of what the enemy is trying to do when he throws out those arrows. All right, quick recap so that y'all don't forget that that's a big part of what he's just trying to do is see if he can trigger you, okay? To see if he can trigger you and get you out of character, okay? So we learn that, and we don't let him. That's the thing, all right? We don't let him get in there, all right? As always, if you've got any questions, you know where to reach me for additional information, insight, and other good stuff. Check out these videos right here. Sending love and light to all fellow warriors. Thank you for watching and for your support. Till next time, let's show some gratitude to the Heavenly Father. And you keep being you. In Jesus' name, amen.